Welcome back to How to Cake It. I'm all hopped up on cake. How about you guys? <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> oh, I want you to leave that in just once. I'm going to make my Easter mega cake with lavender simple syrup on vanilla cake dyed beautiful colors and an orange blossom Italian meringue buttercream. That's right, we're going floral. It's spring. Come on guys, let's hop to it. Speaking of hopping to it, <laughs> speaking of hopping to it, if you like my cake tea, this is one of my Easter collection. These are all available until Easter Monday, so hop on over to howtocakeit.com and click it up. That's right, we have the Couture Easter collection of teas. Very exclusive. When you think of Easter, you think of Couture, You're and good. you think of hair sticking to your lip gloss. I have baked my favorite coconut macaroon recipe. Instead of forming my coconut macaroon mixture into balls and baking cookies like you usually would, I just poured it into two eight inch round pans with a removable bottom and baked them like cakes. It's delicious, and I'm gonna take them out now and dip them in chocolate. So I melted some purple, is this purple? This is kind lavender, of lavender. lavender candy melts. And then I also melted some white because I felt like this was a little bit dark. What do you think of this color, Jocelyn? Mm, maybe a touch lighter. Well, then I'm gonna add it all. <clears throat> I'm going all the way this Easter. Now I'm gonna take this lavender chocolate and I'm gonna spread it on the bottom of both of my macaroon cakes and just let it drip down the sides. Spread quickly because this kind of chocolate starts to set fairly quickly. And you won't believe what I have next. I have cake. What? On how to cake it, I know. Oh my lord. I know. I made a six pound recipe of my vanilla cake and I divided it into three equal portions and then I dyed them a lovely yellow, a lovely green, and a lovely pink. I'm also gonna cut the caramelization off the edge of the cake because it's an open face cake and I wanna reveal all this gorgeous color. The recipe for my vanilla cake is below in the description and I will also list the colors I used to dye it. For those of you checking out my Facebook time lapse videos, you know that this takes way longer than the video you're watching. Sometimes when we're working in here, we like to listen to audiobooks on audible.com because it helps us pass the time, you know, the 11, 12, 15, 18 hours that I spend making these cakes. So thank you to Audible for sponsoring and collaborating on this video. Audible is offering listeners, that means you guys, a free audiobook of your choice and a free 30-day trial membership. Just head to audible.com slash how to cake it and choose from 180,000 different titles. Why do we keep listening to the same book? <laughs> Don't we keep listening that. to the same series. And tell us, what are you listening to? What do you think we should listen to on How to Cake It? Download a title for free and start listening. It's that easy. Before stacking all this goodness, I need to simple syrup my cakes as usual, but today I put lavender in my simple syrup. All I did was add a tablespoon of dried lavender to my simple syrup while it boiled. The great thing about lavender syrup in my simple syrup bottle, Sir Squeeze a lot, is the lavender stays inside flavoring the syrup, but it doesn't come out these little shower head holes. Yeah, this is a shower head. I'm actually going to Honeyfy, that's right, honeyfy my buttercream. I have orange blossom honey, and I'm just gonna stir it into one recipe of my Italian meringue buttercream. Yes. Um, I think I'm gonna put the green cake on the bottom. Okay. What do you think, Jocelyn? I think what I don't you know. Think. I'm just a PLA. <laughs> Jocelyn's my PLA, my personal laughing assistant. Whenever I'm feeling down, I just look at my PLA and... <laughs> and it actually is happening, that's weird. Yes. Green cake down, orange blossom honey buttercream. A macaroon layer is next. Oh, I love it! Jocelyn, if I lift this, can you come lift out the Lazy Susan? No. 
For the topper of my mega Easter cake, I took some of my coconut macaroon mixture and I baked it actually in a cookie cutter. And I just sort of pressed it down and up around the sides to create what looks like a nest before I baked it. And here we have my little coconut macaroon nest. Once again, to mimic the other layers that we've done of coconut macaroon, I wanted to just drip down the side. More chocolate! <laughs> Calm down. <sighs> it's chocolate, it's set, it's not like buttercream. You have a you have a time limit. And now we're gonna paint some chocolate Easter eggs. I'm using a soft bristled paintbrush. I have some pink luster dust. And I have two shades of green, because this one here is actually going to end up looking a bit yellow on the chocolate. You know what? This egg isn't yellow enough for me. I think I'm going to amp it up with a little bit of gold. Before we move on, guys, it's time for Kick It Jocelyn's. <laughs> I wanted to see if you could do it on your arm. OK, ready, wait. Kick It to the Minute. Congratulations to Annika Helgeson and Marissa Webb, who were both only one minute off from how long it took me to make my sushi cake. It took me seven hours and four minutes. Thank you, girls. Thank you for playing. I love you so much. Now it's time for this week's challenge. If you think you know how long it took me to make the Easter cake I'm making right now, head over to my Facebook page, like my page, and comment on this image, and let me know your guess. Good luck. Kick it to the minute. Ooh, coordinated. Coordinated. <laughs> it's time to add the nest to the mega Easter cake. Now I'm gonna add my chocolate cream egg. Yolanda, where are your peeps at? I thought they were coming. Oh yes, you. yes, they're here, they're here. Hey peeps. I know, I know. Thanks for coming. What did they say, Yolanda? They don't want you to know. I just picked these up at my local grocery store. They come out at Easter time. Hey! Hey, guys! They all know each other, don't worry. And where's Mrs. Bunny Hop? She's gonna sit a little higher than Mr. Bunny Hop. That's right. There we go. Should they oh. be like... All of my peeps here today are subscribed to How To Cake It, and they have been telling me that all of you should subscribe because I want two million subscribers by my birthday, July 21st, and I don't wanna let Susan down. If you guys don't know who Susan is, first of all, she's the CEO of YouTube, told me to keep dreaming big. Done, Susan. Done. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. This is getting weird. Okay. <laughs> Weirder than a talking watermelon? I apologize, Mr. and Mrs. Bunny Hop, but it's time to vacate the nest, okay? You break up a lot of couples. You broke up Mr. and Mrs. Claus. I did not break them up. They had trouble, mm -hmm. and I just spread the rumor. Okay. Ah. Whoa, that's a lot of cake. I don't think I can handle this. I'm gonna need a new cake tea, Jocelyn, because this one's getting a little tight. <laughs> you guys should head over to howtokickit.com and pick up an Easter cake tea yourself. And don't forget to head over to audible.com slash how to cake it for your free 30 day trial membership. Guys, what are you gonna listen to? What should I listen to? Leave a comment below. It has to be positive. Yes. It has to make us laugh. Nothing scary. No. Because then you'll just see me running out of this kitchen. <laughs> 